Good morning. Hello. So today is December 5th, day five of Vlogmas. And we're off this weekend, so that's pretty exciting news. Yeah, we got up early today. We, Our bodies just wanted us to get up early. We went to bed fairly early last mm -hmm. night, though. I think we kind of passed out from the week. Um, I've already run the vacuum. We've taken showers. Mm -hmm. We've David's done some stuff in, with his car, so... We are... Pretty productive morning. It has been productive, but now I think we are ready for breakfast. David makes the best egg sandwiches, so they're good. Um, so I think we're going to have egg sandwiches and then try out today's coffee advent calendar and see what we get. Here we go. Hopefully today works better than yesterday. Yeah, I didn't even know that that's what happened. You're like, hey, David, there's a surprise once you start editing. I had no idea that that like huge water incident happened. I felt so bad. So hopefully it goes better today. We'll see. We have two babies watching the water today. Saturdays are for watching the water. What are you guys doing? Why are you so curious? Say we're kitties. Cats are curious. So today for our coffee, normally we use our travel mugs just because we have to run off to work or when I go downstairs, the babies like to try to spill my coffee all around David's computer. So we usually just use travel mugs during the week. But on weekends, we bust out some of our Disney coffee mugs that we've been collecting. Today we're going to use the ABC Disney mugs. This is a line that they came out with earlier this year, late last year. Um, so I went ahead and ordered... The D for David, so it's got the Dapper Dans on there. And then I got myself the M for Main Street USA. And my sister, we got her A for Amy, A for Adventureland. So a really cool thing about these mugs is they have, some of them differ between the parks. So M, for example, the Disney World one is Main Street, but the Disneyland one is uh, the Matterhorn. Matterhorn. Um, a couple of the other ones that I just know off the top of my head. Kilimanjaro for Disney World. King Arthur's Carousel for Disneyland. So it's just a lot of like implementation to... It's not just one park. It gives people the option like, oh, well, I don't like this thing at this park. I really want the one for Disneyland if, or vice versa, you know? Yeah, it wasn't... Um, L was Lightning McQueen. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because of uh, Cars Land, they have L for Lightning McQueen at Disneyland, but at Disney World, they have it's Lion, Lion King, King. Or Festival of the Lion King. So, there's some really neat variety. There's not very many left listed on Shop Disney right now. There's a few different ones. They're all $14.99 each. But the majority of them are sold out. I'm sure you could probably find them online. Or we did see some in the store when we were just there. All right, we're going to open up number five. It is one of the biggest designs here. I mean, they're all the same size, like cutouts, but it has a big design on it. So I'm kind of excited for it. Hopefully it's a good one. Yeah, let's go. Nani, you helping? These are really hard to open. What is it? It's Brazil. So it, this is kind of funny. The other day I was talking about how I had Brazil, but we actually had Costa Rica. Now I have Brazil. Now we actually have Brazil. This one will be good. First sips. First sips. That's pretty good. That's strong. That is strong coffee. I don't know if I don't have enough creamer. I'm like equal parts coffee and creamer when I make coffee, which is not coffee, it's creamer, but it's good. I mixed a cinnamon bun and cinnamon toast crunch today because I'm trying to use up because we had 50 billion open creamers in our refrigerator, but 
I like it. I'm interested to see what you think. You're more of a coffee connoisseur than I am. Yeah, I'm pretty excited and actually excited to try the actual Brazil. Brazil. <laughs> Not me saying Brazil, but it's actually Costa Rica. <laughs> That's okay. It'll be good. All right, David's turn. Yeah, it's a more potent coffee. Do you like it though? It's good. I like coffee. It's one of the main inspirations that we got for actually getting the calendar. But this is this is good. This doesn't taste like Costa Rica at all. I can't believe I did that. I was rewatching. I'm like, no, oh, oh, I said the wrong country. But now we got it. Now we got it. Now we got the actual Brazil. It's good. It's got good flavor. You can taste the beans. The beans. The beans. Yeah, I. It was definitely strong, but I liked it. It's good. Like Michelle mentioned, I am making breakfast this morning. My specialty, what we call egg sammies. So it's usually four eggs, milk. I put garlic butter in it, garlic or butter. Some toppings, some cheese once it gets close to being finished. I toast the bread. Nice little crunchy sandwich. So let's get rolling. All right, the final step, just laying on a slice of cheese. And that's what we call an egg, Sammy. Yes. And here, oh what's boy. in day three of the box? Nani's pretty excited. Oh, look it. It's a snowman. It's a snowman. Look at this snowman. He is festive with his little scarf. How cute. He's even got some holly with some berries up oh, top. Oh, wow. What do you think of that boy? Indifference. Indifference. All right. Another day, another mystery beer. Let's get it. Boop, another can. What's day five? Oh, it's a, uh, we were thinking it was gonna be a sour, but it's uh, coffee jitters. I guess it's just called jitters. This is from a brewery, uh, Bloomington, Illinois, Little Beaver. Yeah, they always have the Little Beaver mascot. Here's their like their actual logo. logo. But pretty much they always have some sort of beaver doing some sort of rapscallion thing. And today he's in a cup of coffee. It says it's a cream ale with vanilla and coffee. Have you have we had this one before? We have not had this one before. I'm pretty excited about it. Yay, oh, lots of coffee today. I know, lots of coffee. What's he doing? What? You see this snowman? You see his little scarf? Yeah. And there's friends. That's friends. You're cute. Hello. Hey. All right, so the cups that we're using for today's beer tasting are the other two cups in the Food and Wine Festival 2020 series. So yesterday we had the Chef Minnie and Chef Mickey. Now we have Remy here with his little chef hat eating 
doing his food combo science. And Chef Figment with the Epcot ball in his plate. Something really cool about these is, so I have the Chef Mini one here. On the back of it, I had the Food and Wine Festival 2020 pass holder. The back of the Remy Cup is a completely different font and just style overall, but it still says Food and Wine Festival pass holder cup. And the Figment one's just completely different. Super wild, like him himself. Still Food and Wine Festival 2020 pass holder. And the Chef Minnie and Mickey had the same one. So there are technically three different patterns across four cups. So this one for Figment actually is the same print that's on the Food and Wine shirt with the little Figment popping out of the pocket. That that's we had in, we our, uh, in our haul, haul video. Wall. Yeah, we can link that down below to show you guys. All right, I kind of just wanted to take a moment to explain when this was coming out of the can, I saw that it was not a dark stout and my mind almost exploded. Even though, as I was reading the can, I read that it was a cream ale. Cream ale, cream ale. Cream ale. I still thought it was a stout for some reason. I don't know. It was just fun facts I had in my brain, but we'll give these a try. All right. It is a vanilla coffee cream ale. Smells like vanilla ale. Wow, that's good. That doesn't, these flavors don't make sense for what I'm drinking. So when I think of like anything coffee related, I'm always just like, oh, it's a stout, right? No, it's not stout at all. Um, it has the vanilla cream flavor to it. But then it also has like that coffee flavor on top of it. It's a really interesting mix of flavors and Little Beaver is really good at doing this kind of beer, like fantastic flavors. I'm enjoying this, I like it. And I don't know, I guess there's more coffee for me, right? Hey David, this is a stout. It's not a stout, it's a, oh, what's the oh. can say? A vanilla and coffee cream ale. I'm just giving you a hard time. Oh, I know. <laughs> You can smell the coffee before you take a drink. Ooh, that is good. It starts with coffee and then like the cream, if you think of like a cream soda, it kind of ends with that cream soda note. The coffee lingers in your mouth. This is really good. I, I love Little Beaver. Even stuff I think that I'm not maybe particularly going to enjoy from them, they always surprise me. Always. <clears throat> My favorite part about this is it ends off with the vanilla notes and not the coffee bitterness, mm -hmm. so it's a more like relaxed aftertaste and not more punchy. Yeah, not punchy. Not punchy. Good. So they set up this, they put a bunch of chains and wires up in this empty lot here in town. And Mac Glass is making, they're trying to set a record for the tallest glass Christmas tree. You can see the guy right there, he's just heated up some of the glass he's putting it's just on a rotating circle um, and then he's putting that hot glass on there so it's setting on and then it sets and dries green when it cools down it's really neat they have two guys that keep heating up the glass to take back and put on there it's a multiple weekend thing just to get this tree completed we figured we'd come check it out and then we might come back next weekend just to see the progress so just observing, once these guys have the glass, they need to hit like one of these really thick pieces at the bottom here I just followed, just so they can start straining the glass across the top of this thing. It's like it's gotta catch it so it starts to string. Yeah, cause it needs something to pull the glass across the whole thing. I'm just really curious on how they're gonna get, once they, what are they gonna do once they start getting up here? I think they have that green contraption there. Oh, the they back. do have a, 
I don't know oh, if these things are called like genie lifts or something. Mm -hmm. I think that's what they're gonna do, but can you imagine how much it's the glass and they cool off yeah. in that amount of time? Luckily, they're not gonna need as much glass up at the top to do it. Yeah, and they were saying that weather really isn't a big issue, like rain isn't really gonna affect this project at all, so. Unless it's a hailstorm, that would be. <laughs> that would be very that would unfortunate. Be On their website, they were saying that if you had any green or clear glasses, you can bring it to the tree so they can use it for the project. They got a lot of extra stuff to use. Maybe we'll bring some by if we have any at the house. It's a pretty cool recycling idea. Oh, yeah. All right, we just left the glass blowing tree, tree thing, thing. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit ago. Uh, we decided to come over to Porter Park it's on the west side of town. It, the sun is currently setting right now, so we are just gonna do a little walk around. We've never been over to this park before. Yeah, I guess they have a really impressive light, kind of like light display path. Yeah. Yeah, out on the walking path. So we're gonna check out the wa walking path here while it's still a little light out, and then we'll see what they look like when everything's lit up. There's the sunset. It's pretty. By the way, it's only. Sunset is 427 here. Not 447? Not 447, 427. Oh, okay. And just like that, it's gone. All right, here's the map for Porter Family Park. It's actually bigger than what I thought it yeah, was. Yeah, that's what I was looking at. So we are right here. And the walking path is all around the, the pond. pond here. So we got a lot of, a lot of steps to do. But they also have like a woodland area up here, prairie area. There's quite a bit of walking paths. While we wait for the lights to come on, we may take a meander around and see what it's all about. All right, here's the official sign doesn't start till 5. It's 4.30 right now, so we got a couple minutes to kill. Half an hour to kill. <laughs> but it goes all the way to January 3rd, so that's cool. Here's a far more impressive sign for the walking path. It's this huge arch. And I'm just noticing, look at the sky. Mm. That's pretty. This park has its own mailbox to Santa. The North Pole Post. So if you have any children who need to send their letters to Santa this year, come on down. Yeah, it's right just past the playground on the along the walking path around the pond. So that's a really cute idea. I wonder how often those elves come and pick up these letters. Probably daily. Santa's pretty magical. Yeah, he's a busy man. All right, so the very first thing we see in this whole walk is the, they call it the Rainbow Bridge, which is just a bridge with arches all the way across it and they strung lights all the way over it. So every we're gonna every color of the rainbow. Every color of the rainbow, yep. So we're gonna take a walk through and see all those beautiful colors. Let's Oy. do it. Here's that rainbow bridge from a distance. That looks so cool reflecting in the water. So this set of lights is on a pier, pretty much. It's like a fishing dock, I guess. It's really neat, and it's really neat to get the view of this, and then the rainbow bridge that we were looking at earlier. The look across. We're there gonna be getting to the like, glow heart changing colors. There's lights all around here that are really neat. Yeah. This is a pretty cool one, just because you can pretty much walk through it. she is. Next light fixture on the way, this color morphing heart. That changes really quick. Yeah, I thought I was going to have to do a time lapse on this, but it's going pretty fast. It's very pretty. That's pretty. 
that one section's always ahead of itself when it gets to the red. Oh, this is pretty cool. It's simple, but... Simple, but elegant. Red, white, and green for Christmas. Uh-huh. It's so pretty outside, and I can't believe how dark it gets so quickly. It looks like this little display is ornaments on the ground. It looks like it. They're really cool. Green, blue, purple. And you get a really good view of that covered bridge again. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is another one you can kind of just walk right into. Very, very cool. There is this little arch. I don't really know how to get to. But there's a bench and it looked really cool with that in the background. We did it. We found the path to the bench. It literally is just right to it. And we're gonna attempt to take a selfie with us with this arch and the bridge behind us. And we're gonna put it right here. So we just got back home. I just wanted to show you guys this ornament that we got from uh, Matt Glass here in Champagne. They're the ones that were doing the Christmas tree display that we went to see earlier. You can purchase the ornaments. There's a little tent display right next to where they're putting up the tree. You can purchase them one for $25 or you can get three ornaments for $60. So that was really cool. You could, there were lots of different color schemes too. This one is like blues and greens. It's really pretty. All right, and that's it for day five. Yeah, day five is over. So I hope you guys join us again tomorrow for day six of Vlogmas. See ya. See ya.